Today we're going to assemble the turbo kit. Inside you'll find the instructions. You'll find a bag containing small parts and the decal. You'll find the body tube. You'll also find the nose cone and six fin tubes. The fig tubes can be attached or they can be separated, but there should be six individual tubes. You open the small bag. Open your assembly instructions. So take your shock cord and tie a single knot in the end of the Kevlar shock cord, which is the yellow shock cord. And it's a single overhand knot, just like so. Now we're going to assemble the motor mount. The motor mount has a single tube, two centering rings, a thrust ring, and an engine hook. The motor hook will go into the slot that's already pre-marked on the motor tube. All ModelRockets.us kits are pre-marked for easy assembly. It doesn't require a ruler or knife to assemble. As you can see, the motor tube has rings around the motor tube indicating where the thrust rings go and also a slot for the motor hook. We can take the centering rings and pre-open them on one end with a nose cone. And now we're going to take the knotted end of the shock cord and we're going to slip it underneath the thrust ring inside and then push the thrust ring on the end of the motor tube with the motor the uh, motor hook slot we're going to take some glue and put around in between the marks on the motor tube where the thrust ring is supposed to locate and we're going to slide the motor the center ring onto the motor tube until it's between the marks on the motor tube. And that slid over the top of the end of the motor hook and also the shock cord. Now we can pull the shock cord tight against the uh, center ring so it's ready to go. Now we'll slide the other centering ring on the tube. Looks like we need to open that up a little more so we'll just expand it with the nose cone and then slide it on again we're not going to slide it on all the way we're going to slide it short and then we'll put glue around the motor tube between the marks on the motor tube where the thrust ring is supposed to slide to then we'll slide the motor the uh, thrust ring on until it is between the marks that are pre-marked on the tube. After the centering rings are glued on the motor mount, put a small bead just in the end, shock cord end of the tube, and then insert the thrust ring until it's flush with the end of the tube. This is a completed motor mount. Now take your body tube and you'll notice that on the turbo there's a line around the base of the tube and a rectangle drawn on the tube, laser etched, locating the launch lug. This is the end we'll insert the motor mount in. Put a heavy bead of glue 
inside the tube all the way around. Squeeze and rotate and put a bead of glue around inside the tube. Take your motor mount and slide the shock cord through the top end so it doesn't get into the glue. So it goes through the top end and out the bottom end. And now insert your motor mount in the tube, lining the motor hook up with the lodge lug rectangle drawn on the top of the body tube. And push into the glue until the bottom of the motor mount is flush with the bottom of the tube. And you can see that the motor hook is lined up with the launch lug. Now take the body tube and put a thin bead of glue right where the launch lug line is. And attach your launch lug on that line. The launch lug should be flush with the ring that's drawn around the tube. You can now set this tube aside to dry with the launch lug flat on the table and the body tube flat on the table and this ensures that the launch lug is lined up with the length of the body tube squarely. Now take your fin tubes and there are six of them and we're going to make three pairs of fin tubes. So we'll take one, two, that's a pair, another two, that's a pair, and another two, there's another pair. Take some glue, a thin bead of glue, and glue, put a bead along the length of the tube, push the two tubes together to make one glued tube pair and set these aside to dry. If they're set side flush on the table surface, they'll also glue square and in a line. Do this for all three pairs. Set aside all three pairs to dry and the tube to dry, just for a few minutes while they tack up. Take your streamer, and you'll see on one end there's a hole already punched. You'll receive two tape discs in the kit, and we want to put both tape discs on either side of this streamer lined up with the hole. Put them on either side of the streamer. Lining up so the center of the tape disc line up with each other so there's a through hole through the streamer. Now the body tube and the launch lug mount are dry. We're going to take the shock, white shock cord and tie it to the end of the yellow Kevlar shock cord. Put the two together and tie one overhand loop with both together just like so. Now insert the elastic shock cord in the bottom of the tube and drop it down through. Until it comes out the top side and then pull the shock cord all the way through out the top side. Take and insert the shock cord in your streamer right through the hole in the tape disc. pull it through 
until it reaches the knot. Tie the white shock cord with a double square or overhand knot onto the nose cone base. Tie it twice so it's secure. We're going to roll the streamer up and put it inside the tube. Take the streamer and fold it once. Fold it twice. Fold it three times. And then roll it up real small. Insert it in the top end of the tube. Push the shock cord in. And finally the nose cone. Now we're ready to glue our fin tubes on. Take one pair of fin tubes and put glue on the fin tubes inside where they'll contact the main tube. want a line on each tube close together about here and about here. Put a line about an inch long on the outside of the launch lug on one side where the tubes will also attach and then attach your first tube pair against the launch lug and against the tube and line up with a line around at the bottom of the tube like this. Take it, your second tube pair and put a line and glue towards the middle of the attachment of the two tubes but about a approximately half inch to three quarters of an inch apart okay. and then on the side of this tube I put a line of glue exactly opposite the center line of this one tube so the glue will be about here here and here and then we'll attach the second tube pair until we're lined up like so. When attaching the second tube pair, if the glue does not touch the first tube pair, make the glue touch and then roll the piece down onto the tube so there's glue contacting between all the tubes. Do the same for the last tube pair. Line here, here, and here. About here, here, and here. And Put a line of glue on the other side of the launch lug where the last two pair will touch. Now attach the two pair, last two pair to the second two pair by touching the glue, rolling it down onto the surface, and then line up with the bottom line. Rotate it and check all the, the alignment of all the tubes. They should be nearly all touching each other except at the launch lug and they should be touching the tube and they should look like this. The 
the turbo is now assembled. Optionally at this point you can paint it and apply decals but you should set it aside to dry a little bit before you attach decals or paint. At this point you could probably fly this in about 10 or 15 minutes when the glue tacks up.